To start out with, we're first going to look at what is Yellowfin. Uh, so as a session, we're going to be undertaking this in order to learn how to uh, interact with Yellowfin. So we're going to introduce you to Yellowfin, teach you the best way to consume and interact with the content. And this is really a, a great starting point for all users of Yellowfin, but especially new consumers. So by undertaking this lesson, you'll become familiar with Yellowfin. So what is it and what does it do? Uh, you'll learn how to get around the system and find content. You'll learn how to interact with that content, how to collaborate with other users, and learn the basics of storyboard and what you can do with published reports. So what is Yellowfin? Uh, so your boss or someone has told you, here, you've got to log into this system, go and use it. Uh, what on earth is it? Yellowfin is a business intelligence tool. And basically it's designed to help you access and make the most of your data. So it allows you to access your data. And in this sort of scenario, we're going to learn how to access content that's being created by other users. So you'll have users that are building reports for you and you'll learn how to access the reports, dashboards and storyboards. And we'll look at what those are in a sec. And you'll also discover how to collaborate with other members of your team and other people that are using the system with you. So to start out with, we're going to explore content access navigation. So basically, how do I find my way in Yellowfin? So to start out, a really common starting place for users is the dashboard. So what is a dashboard exactly? So basically, a dashboard is a way of displaying multiple reports at the same time. So you can have tables and charts. Uh, and they're actually grouped into what we call tabs, so dashboard tabs. Much like an internet browser has different tabs, the dashboard also does. Uh, and there are sub-tabs, but we'll get to that. So these tabs are generally categorized into different groupings. So you may have, for example, a sales tab, uh, a sales managerial tab, perhaps a HR tab or a, you know, a regional tab. So an Australian one or an American one or something like that. Uh, and from there, you can access a range of your reports. Now, if you don't just want to access your content through the dashboard, which is relatively common. It's a starting point, but it's not the be all and end all. Uh, you'll find the browse page and the search functionality very helpful. So basically the browse page is a way of exploring your content and it's very similar to exploring your content on your computer. So if you're familiar with Windows using the file explorer or if you're a Mac user, uh, it's Finder. If you're another user, you're probably uh, aware of what that is. But basically, it's a way of seeing all of your content that you can access in one place and then searching for specific items. So you'll be able to see things like reports, uh, dashboard tabs, storyboards, uh, and discussions in here. Now, we're going to explore how the, dash, uh, the, how the browse page works, uh, but we'll do that a little bit later. So we're just going over it to start with now. The next section is my content. So there is a little panel in Yellowfin on some pages that kind of gives you little shortcuts to um, various lists of content. So what you'll find here is your favorites list. And this is very much like um, specifying various web pages as your favorites in, say, an internet browser. So it's just your favorite reports or items that you find very useful. Uh, then you'll have your draft lists. And this will only be available if you have access to creating reports. And they're actually reports that are currently being built rather than completed published ones. And finally, we have the recently accessed list, which basically allows you to see a range of content that you've accessed uh, recently, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, and all of this content will be in active mode, so it will be published. It won't be uh, those draft work in progress content items. 
Okay, from there, we're going to explore the left side navigation. And this is something that's actually new to 7.2. Uh, so if you are familiar with Yellowfin in previous versions, this will be new to you. Uh, and basically, it has a, a variety of um, pieces of content that you can access directly from here, as well as different functionality. Uh, so you can access things like your timeline and all of your personal tasks and content. Uh, you can see all of your dashboards. You can uh, view a list of people that you're associated with uh, and directly access their timelines from here. You can also browse. So you get a, like a line, uh, mini you can browse, so you get a mini browse list here, which allows you to directly access that browse page, but filtering it down to a particular list of content. Uh, we have streams, which are basically discussion conversations, uh, and we will come back to those in a little while. And finally, we have administration. Now, as a consumer, and this is a consumer level training session, uh, you probably won't, you either won't have access to this at all, or you'll learn about this in a later session. So don't worry about administration items for now. We're just getting familiar with our surroundings to start out with. All right, so I mentioned timeline and accessing that from the left side navigation. Basically, timeline is an event feed. So it's your little profile and all the things you've been doing in the system. And it also pulls through activity from users that you're related to, so that you've connected with. Uh, so you can see, okay, my friend Jane has created a report. Uh, maybe I'll have a look at that and see if I can help her with that or uh, see if I might request additions to it or something like that. So here you can see a range of content as well as uh, other activity. All right, so before we move on, okay, so what we'll do is we'll just jump into the system and have a quick look at that, uh, and then we'll return to our session list. So I'm just going to exit my storyboard, which I was just in, and you'll see I've been taken to the dashboard, and if I navigate, we actually have tabs across the top. So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about different dashboard tabs. And you'll see each tab is broken down into individual items. So we'll have individual reports here that should be related one way or another. Now in this scenario, they're related by uh, topic. So we're looking at marketing campaigns on this particular uh, tab and how effective they were and related material. Whereas we might look at sales performance on the first tab. Okay, so the next thing we're going to have a look at is our search functionality. So you'll see we actually have this little search list here. Um, we could alternatively go directly to the browse page and search there, um, but I'll start the process now. So say I'm going to look for a particular report and I've been told to look for uh, a camp report. I can't remember the whole name, so I'm just gonna type in camp and see what happens. And when I search, it will take me to the browse page. So now I see the browse page and I see a list of results relating to camp. Obviously we have a lot of items, uh, so maybe I need to narrow that down further. So I could narrow that down by content type if I'm looking for a particular item uh, type. So for example, if I'm looking for a report, alternatively if I'm looking for a dashboard, I can narrow that down and so on. I'll just reset that to all. I could also narrow that down by where it's stored. So Yellowfin has a folder structure that it stores its content in. Again, very much like your operating system. Uh, so we actually have a two level folder system. So you can see I've got a, a few folders here. And if I open these up, I've also got uh, some subfolders. And if I explore those folders, I can start to see uh, my content. So I probably wanna go to the camp folder there and explore that. Okay, now if I wanted to adjust this further, I could change the sort, for example. So I can see uh, my items sorted by their most recently accessed date, um, or how many people have used the report recently, and so on. Alternatively, I could change 
the view of my dashboard. So at the moment we're exploring the thumbnail view, but if I change that, I can change it to a list view. And this is uh, clearly more text-based, uh, and it's just designed for people that want to see maybe more content on the page at once. Uh, and are very familiar with the names of their content and, and so on. And it gives you a little bit more information uh, as an overview. And I can adjust these columns as necessary. So from here, if I wanted to, I could double click on an item and it will open that item for me. So this is an individual report on its own. I could interact with that report, which we'll get to shortly or I could close it and return to my browse page.